ductless air conditioning and heating. How does it fit into a greener lifestyle? Today, we'll find out. We'll see how electric vehicles are improving the lifestyle of one community and contributing to a cleaner environment. We've heard about solar panels, but what about solar shingles? See how this stylish roof is reducing carbon footprints and utility bills. This is Think Green, the show that's all about you, your living space, and living a more eco-friendly lifestyle. Today, we focus on efficient energy and raising our comfort level while living green. A healthier environment means healthier lives for all of us. So let's get started and think green. If you live in one of the sunny parts of the country, you'll want to see what is next on Think Green. We look at the latest in solar shingles, and not only do they look nice, they really help the electric bill. Take a look. We've been thinking about going green for quite some time and uh, did some research on uh, solar shingles and found out that it was something that we were really interested in doing and spoke to some friends of ours that have also done this in the past and they have um, saved quite a bit of money on their utility bills and we decided to take the plunge and go for it. Did you know enough sunlight falls on the earth in one hour to power the world's entire current energy needs for a year? People living in sunny parts of the world can very easily tap into some of that energy to provide electricity for their homes, reducing the strain on the power infrastructure. Designing Spaces met up with Katie Collardson from Certain Teed Solar at a community built by Vintage Residential in Shreveport, Louisiana, where a home is being outfitted with a new roof. But there is something extremely different about this roofing material. When you think about electricity, we oftentimes take it for granted until that monthly bill arrives. But what if there was a green way that we could possibly eliminate those monthly bills? Solar energy, tell me all about it. Well, solar energy is a great way to reduce your impact on the environment. The sunlight falls from the sky, hits the solar panels, and produces electricity, which then feeds into the main panel in your house and goes right back into the grid. What are some of the advantages of solar energy? Some of the advantages of solar energy are a reduced environmental impact, uh, no greenhouse gases are emitted from solar panels and it reduces or even eliminates your monthly bill. So when you're looking at installing this type of solar energy on a house, where do you put them? You put them on the south facing roof. We live in the northern hemisphere and therefore the sun travels through the southern part of the sky. And so to take advantage of as much sunlight as possible throughout the year, we want to face the solar panels south. They can face due east or due west, but that will reduce the efficiency of the panels. So generally we try to face them south. Well, so we are gonna actually install some solar panels on this particular house. I'd love to go see where we're gonna do that. Great. So this would actually be the southern facing part of the roof on this house. That's right, this is the south facing roof. Now, I notice you guys have taken off a lot of the shingles. You know, when I think of solar panels, I think of this big, ugly, monolithic block that sits on top of the roof. Is that not the case here? No, that's the advantage of the Apollo system is it protects the roof like a shingle, but at the same time, it produces clean electricity. Interesting, because solar panels, you kind of think a solar panel, that's kind of the ugliest thing you could possibly do to your house. Well, that's why a lot of homeowners really like the Apollo system is it integrates seamlessly into the roof it's a clean, sleek appearance, and they aren't a big eyesore like traditional solar panels. Well, you know, I'm really excited to see how this is gonna look on the roof. We've got a lot of guys here ready to get to work, but I'm curious, how does this power get into the house? Let's go take a look. So John, what you see here is an inverter. This is what converts the electricity from DC into AC. See, up on the roof, when the sunlight hits the panels, it creates what's called DC electricity kind of like what you have in a battery. But what we use in our homes is AC. And so this box converts that electricity from DC into a usable form, AC, and it goes feeds right back into the main panel. So where are all the batteries? There aren't any. 
most solar that is installed today doesn't use batteries. It's, we install what are called grid-tied systems, which means that they feed directly into the grid. So we have the sun supplying energy to this box. This goes straight to the grid and helps power our house. That's correct. And if we get a lot of electricity coming down, does it go back to the electric company? Well, normally what happens is your utility company will give you a credit for that excess electricity. So really, we could be getting a credit on our electric bill rather than paying it every month. Absolutely. It's a possibility. It is. <laughs> hey, I can hear the guys working up on the roof. I'm dying to see how these solar panels are being laid up there. Let's go take a look. Let's go see. All right. So it looks like the guys are getting a lot of work done. Explain to me how these are installed on the roof. Sure. On this particular roof, we had to remove the shingles because already, they already had shingles on the roof. So we took those off and then put down an underlayment. Then you put on a starter strip and then the shingles and they stack one on top of each other and plug together. And then you screw them down. Normally solar installations will have dozens of screw holes, whereas all the screw holes on this installation are completely covered. So do you have to use a lift to install these? No, normally you wouldn't. But in this case, the pitch of the roof is so steep that you can't walk on it. So we're using a lift in this case. So it's really like installing a roof on your house, except this is a solar roof. That's exactly right. Wow, this looks nothing like those traditional solar panels that you think about when people talk about solar energy. This looks really cool. That's the exciting part about the Apollo system. It integrates seamlessly with the roof. And of course, they're not quite done with this one yet, but they'll come back in and tie the roof lines in. And when they do all of that, this will look like a natural part of the house, won't it? That's right. And another piece is that you can walk on them. You can actually walk on those? Yeah, this, these have a 250 pound per square foot load capacity. So you can walk on these just like normal shingles. And the most important thing, it provides electricity for your house in a very green way. That's right. Very cool. Well, how can our viewers learn more about Apollo Solar Shingles? Well, they can go to certainty.com slash solar roofing, and there you can find information on all of our solar products, including information about installers in your area. Really cool. And if you find this interesting, you should join us on Facebook and get in on the conversation. It's real easy. Just go to facebook.com forward slash D spaces TV, and you can find a lot of information about this product and a whole bunch more. I'm John McCalmont for Think Green. We couldn't be happier that we got solar shingles. They look fantastic. Uh, we've saved a lot of money on our utility bills, and all of our neighbors now want to know how they can save money.